What's up, y'all? It's Timeline. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a reggaeton style beat. So, you know, it's going to be in the style of like Tiny, Bad Bunny, etc. etc. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a melody like reggaeton, how to do the drums like reggaeton. But yeah, um, let's get straight to it. So, before we hop right into it, I'm going to show you guys the beat that I made so you guys know what we're getting into. So yeah, that's the type of beat that you know you can expect to make after watching this tutorial. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So I'm gonna leave the link in the description for the FOP you guys can download, and I'm gonna have every other sound that I use in the beat, all the drums. So really, the first thing I start with is the drums. Um, they seem simple, but like for someone that's new to making reggaeton beats, you know they're actually a little bit kind of hard. I'm not gonna lie, but these are all the sounds that I use in this beat. So we got these two kicks. We got this snare. We have this accent snare. We have like this little timbre. It's like a percussion. And then I added the kick and another snare, which is like for another section of the beat. So I like this, which is the drums. But yeah, those are those are the drums that I have for reggaeton. So in reggaeton, this is kind of like this is what everyone thinks reggaeton is. It's like this. Which and don't get me wrong, like this is reggaeton. Like this is the, this is that pattern that you're gonna hear in every single reggaeton song. Ever. So yeah. However, I think with some reggaeton songs, it's a little bit more complex. So in most reggaeton beats, there's actually gonna be two kicks. So you're gonna have this first kick hitting, boom, boom. Now, I think if you're just listening to these songs, it's kind of hard to know that, especially with vocals on top. But yeah, there's always like two separate kicks. Um, now, as far as the snare, I that's usually like some sort of thick snare. The snare, it's pretty fat, it's pretty thick. And then I think what people also don't know is that there's always an accent snare. So there's a snare that hits right before the main one. So it's like... So you can already see the bounce that's you know kind of being created with this little accent snare and it's only one sound too that hits right before it uh same thing with this percussion this little cymbal um it's kind of it's kind of like an accent percussion and it just adds more bounce you'll notice in some reggaeton sounds or uh, songs they'll switch it up so they might go like this they might do that so you, you can do it however you want but i think the key to making reggaeton drums is um th there has to be bounce and all the sounds that you have has to glue together and then the last thing i used was this little timbal drum kit or my bad this little timbal drum loop from this drum kit which i'll also leave in the description so it kind of layers that part that we had earlier and it has a different pattern as well. So when you put everything together, so like I said earlier, you know, everyone thinks, everyone thinks reggaeton is just, it's just this. Everyone, but really it's more than that. There's, there's a lot more balance, a lot more percussion, et cetera, et cetera. So that's everything that I did for the drums. And then later on in the beat, I did end up switching it up to some more simple with those drums that I literally just showed you. So it doesn't sound like much right now, but you know, when I show you guys the arrangement and the melody I made, et cetera, et cetera, you'll you'll see it. Again, I'm gonna leave those uh those drums in the FOP in the description. So you don't have to do exactly what I did, but 
you know, feel free to play around with it. You know, I recommend listening to reggaeton songs and, you know, kind of copy those songs, like get a feeling like, how did they do this? How did they do that? And then um, as far as the jump kits I got them from, Splice is going to be your best friend. So I use the Tyco jump kit and Tiny's jump kit from Splice. I really recommend you guys go check them out. I'm going to still leave the sounds that I use in the description. But yeah, really, if you have Splice, these are two big kits that are going to help you uh, make some reggaeton beats. And then I also got some other uh, jump kits that I got from Reddit, which I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it down in the description. So the next thing is the melody. Um, I think for the most part, reggaeton melodies are very, you know, like they're simple and complex at the same time. Like simple in the sense that there isn't too much going on. Like you just have simple chord progressions, but there's a lot of, there's usually layers, you know, you'll have some leads to kind of you know, make the, the main melody sound better. So when I'm making a tiny beat, and tiny beats are really like honestly they're kind of sad not gonna lie they're sad ambient you know really soft hitting so first thing i came up with and you don't need omnisphere or anything but i came up with i found this this little bell in omnisphere it was very kind of like just dreamy it's ambient and i just came up with this chord progression So I think the reason why this melody is so fulfilling is because all the extra notes that I added on top. So this is what I had originally. That's kind of boring, not gonna lie, but what I did was I just kind of, I just filled in the same notes of that chord, but on top, like I just added a bunch of shit. Like we had a D here, so I had a D there, kind of repeated the chord again. So, you know, kind of just not even inversions, but just adding the same notes of that chord on top the next octave and it'll just sound a lot more fulfilling i also changed the velocity i made it soft it sounds a lot louder if it's at the regular one yeah it's extremely loud but this is kind of like kind of soft hitting so yeah so just listening to that melody, it's pretty sad, pretty dreamy, ambient, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's pretty much the main sound. I use these two, I believe I used a pad to layer it. The pad we used. So we use a signed pad and omnisphere, but like I said, you can use anything. Um, yeah. So you can see the vibe that I'm going for. It's it's just really soft, really ambient, like it's sad. Um this pad, because I pretty much copied the main melody and put it into this pad, it was pretty aggressive, not gonna lie. So I had to use an EQ and I took out a lot. So this is probably what it, this is what it sounds like without it. I think it's too much in my opinion. But with the EQ, it's just a lot more calm and stuff. I guess another alternative is I probably could have got rid of these top notes and just kept like the main chords, but that's okay. And then I just added some decay, uh, took out some low cut a little bit, and some convolver just to you know trace it out. Did the same thing with another pad. This is a it's like a voice pad kind of. It is the box pad mellow wheel ooze, so it's like a voice pad. So you can tell it's just it's just like I said earlier, just really ambient, like really soothing. Um next thing I added was this lead. So Tiny, he always has like some sort of lead in his beat, and they're like really simple. Um so yeah, I just opted with that. Let's see what sounds that. So that was Foggy Saw and Omnisphere, I believe, in the synth along. And then just to kind of make it sound better, 
you probably notice it has a little side chain effect. So this is what it sounds like without it. But side chain sounds way better. And then same thing, I did a little bit of reverb and some decay. So yeah. And then I think this is pretty like in most reggaeton beats. Actually, I won't say most. I'll say like 70%. You're always going to hear some variation of this pattern. So you're always going to hear like that, you know, not off beat, but you know, it's just slightly off to, to give it that bounce. That's like in a lot of reggaeton songs. That's like if you hear that, like you know you're listening to a reggaeton beat. In this song, or in this beat, because you know I'm going, I'm trying to make it ambient, I'm trying to make it sad. I just went with this little pluck, and I took the same melody that I had earlier. Um, if I was making like a a more upbeat reggaeton beat, maybe like more hype, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, I might have used like a piano, but I, I just wanted to keep up with the vibe, so I just used this little pluck. important thing I think I'd say at least is the sub bass you know what reggaeton beats you need to have a sub bass that's just no doubt so this sub bass I also got from Omnisphere it's called mini triangle sub but usually when I'm making when I'm making reggaeton beats you can just use a regular sub from your drum kits like honestly like and any sub works like as long as it's as long as it's low enough it's got that low end say this sub bass is pretty fat i'm not gonna lie i, I kind of also turned it up turned the volume up on it as well um but yeah every reggaeton beat needs a sub bass as far as how you do the pattern i used to do my reggaeton beats like this like everything connected But I think what gives reggaeton beats like more bounce, especially when you pair this with the drums, of course, is the spaces in between. And then you can have the connected and stuff like that. And then, you know, you can kind of play with it. So there's, there's a lot of things, you know, reg reggaeton is versatile, especially nowadays. So there, there's so many things that you can do with it, you know, especially with Bad Bunny, like, He's done like his own flip on it. But yeah, with the sub bass, I think you should have things separated a little bit. And then maybe if you want to connect them in like a separate pattern or in a later section, it would be that's cool. But it just gives the beat a little bit more balance. Even with you know with these drums. You see what I mean? Like it just it just gives it balance. Like everything just kind of. I feel like the space in it also kind of. It just it just glues everything together, in my opinion. Um, two more. Actually, I actually have a couple more sounds that we're gonna get through. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is pretty much just extra shit that I added to the beat that I didn't really have to add, but it kind of makes the beat better. So in every beat, I always have like this little uplifter. have that in every single beat even with reggae beats um for the intro of this beat i had these two effects so i had this little noise riser and faller and then the synth riser that i got from it's like edm drum kit and then i also had this little tom fill that was also from splice from this oliver drum kit which i'll show y'all later but this is what it sounds like So, you know, I didn't really have to add that, but, you know, in my opinion, it just makes the beat sound better. Just having those little effects in it. It also lets the listener know that 
oh you're hearing this like oh you know this is this is the you're gonna hear the intro you're gonna hear the first verse and if you hear it again later you know you're gonna hear the hook or whatever like so yeah um another thing i added was this little vocal sample So I kind of just put a like a radio EQ on it, put some reverbs and delay. This vocal sample is actually from Effecto from Bad Bunny. I put the acapella on over this beat just to kind of you know listen to you know how it sound, and then I kind of heard that little sample, and I kind of just put it in there. Kind of it kind of sounded cool. just kind of sounds cool to me um but yeah this is all extra stuff that you don't really have to add into the beat but it just makes the beat sound better even with this uh the second section of the beat where i change the drums you, you kind of you don't even got to do that but just having switch ups like that you know little changes in the arrangement it just makes the beat sound a lot better and you know yeah far as the arrangement you can make it however you like um how i do it is i start off with the main melody just by itself oh my god oh my god and then for the second part of the intro i'll just put like a little bass pad and then those effects i had earlier because i don't really like to have long intros you could also go straight into it too but yeah So that's my intro and then I just have like this. Have that play for a little while, then we switch up the drums. And then the end of this section kind of repeats that end of that intro. So it kind of just lets people know that, hey, we about to go back to the hook. And then I do the same thing at the end of the beat, but I just end the beat. So do whatever arrangement you want. But um, yeah, it doesn't matter. As long as, long as it's simple, as long as it's cool. Yeah. And then if there's any tip that I have to give out, is like you want to make sure that your regular beats are, you know, open. You know, when people hop on these beats, they could, you know, Lay their vocals on top of it without having to fight with the beat i think this beat's pretty uh i think it's pretty simple there's a lot of space on it you know it's not nothing crazy going on but but yeah that's the most important thing about reggaeton beats is that they're always so they're so hard hitting but they're so open for the artists to just you know do their thing and and yeah